Roseanne and Greg, over to you. Okay, Mike, thank you very much. You've seen these towering relics right by the Grand Central Parkway in the LIE. Right. Uh, since I was a kid, I was kind of intrigued by it. What is that? My parents would tell me that's the World's Fair. Well, that's that was once the World's Fair, That was right? once, or the, yeah, right, the World's Fair grounds. And yeah. I always wondered, like, gosh, it's so beautiful. Why didn't they do something with it? It was a shame that, like, after it was over, it was done. You're looking at now footage from the World's Fair in 1964. It's 2014, the 50th anniversary of the World's Fair. It changed, for those who were alive back then, it kind of changed life in New York. Well, they had a lot of things for the future, which is like, you know, we kind of went through that, and uh, now we're looking at a different kind of future. One thing I want to get to is why have we just let that thing right there sit for so many years? It seems it was so glorious. There was actually elevators that went up the, the, those side towers. Right, right. It was gorgeous. Now you just see people doing wedding pictures over there I by know. the big Unisphere. Anyway, uh, for the next several months, the Queens Museum has a very special exhibit commemorating this important anniversary. Oh, and by the way, inside the Queens Museum, yeah. they've got a magnificent diorama of all of New York City. If you haven't seen this thing, it really is worth it. Well, we brought with us today Louise Weinberg. She is the World's Fair's archive manager at the Queens Museum. Nice to have you here, Louise. Thank you. So what are we doing to celebrate? Well, the museum, of course, you know, we do have the wonderful panorama of the city of New York, which is a permanent exhibition. We are also opening, uh, at the end of the month, we are opening an exhibition on Andy Warhol's presence at the World's Fair. Now, take a look at that oh. one more time. That's that big diorama, the panorama that's been there for years. Right. We're kind of reminding New Yorkers that it's there. Every, my understanding, every single building is represented just about, or that we're, that we're standing back then, in, in 19, this diorama? Yes. Well, in, in 1964, when this was built, uh, it, there were uh, 860,000 buildings. The panorama was updated periodically, and then in 1992, the museum went through its first major renovation. And at that time, it was again brought up to date. Since then, we don't. The museum doesn't really have a budget for acquiring oh, each model. Oh no! We have so, to, so we need to get more buildings that's on right. there. We're missing a few. We're I missing hear you a can few. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So tell us about the Andy Warhol per perspective on the. Okay. The, now the, Fair? the New York State Theater, which is the building with the towers, was uh, built for the '64 fair by Philip Johnson. The architect and on the uh, Queens, the current Queens Theater in the park, he had he got ten artists to to create artworks. Andy Warhol created a mural called "The Thirteen Most Wanted Men." It was erected um, before the opening of the fair, and then it was painted over two days later because it oh was thought goodness. to be uh, a racist. Um, because it oh. depicted the current criminals of the time. So we can wow. see that. By the way, the Unisphere has been there and it remains. We're looking at it right now. Just tell us a little bit. Tell us a little bit, please, about the Unisphere, if you could. Okay, the Unisphere is located on the site of the Trilon and Paris Fair, which was the icon of the 1939 fair, uh -huh. the first fair. And the Unisphere was created by U.S. Steel as, and donated as a gift to the fair and to the people of New York City. It's 13 stories high. It's, um, it's an incredible feat of engineering. And the three rings around it uh, represent the three space orbits of Yuri Gagor Gagorian. Gagarin. Gagarian. Gagarin. Um, Gagarin. Yeah. Thank you. Um, John Glenn and the Telstar. Oh, orbit. The so first television satellite. Yes. Interesting. And uh, it's it's an incredible iconic symbol of the fair and of New York. All right, you brought some great little things from the fair. Let's start. Let's okay. show us some of the things that we can see. The phone over there. Are you is he allowed to touch it? Well he's not. That's why I have the white gloves on. <laughs> Too late, I'm sorry. I'll be careful. Give it to Louise. Now this is the very <laughs> important phone. This wonderful touchtone phone you Take will notice look was uh, this was the phone that was in JFK's office. JFK he, touched that phone? He touched this phone. What One, office? Which office? The Oval Office. No kidding. One year before the opening of the, of the World's Fair. See, there's the picture of him on the phone. He oh, wow. dialed okay. this number, WF4-2301, and? and that set off the countdown, the one-year countdown to the opening of the fair. I'm calling that number right now just to see what happens. Uh, you're not going to get anywhere with this. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know? <laughs> That's actually pretty so, cool, though. 
I love that it says on this side, the telephone used by John F. Kennedy, but on this side it says... It, well, it was donated to Robert Moses. So oh. this was, this or actually... Robert Moses, the no, reporter? No, the master builder. Oh, oh. Our, our New York City Robert that Moses. That is very cool. It's on display over there at the yes, Queens Museum? Yes, it is. Yes, it Excellent. is. Excellent. I'm calling the number. It's ringing, by the way. Uh, what else do you have here? Yeah, okay. Louise. Um, I have a lovely uh, travel case. Oh, this was, looks like Pan Am. Yes, what? Don't so lovely, you understand? Stop touching I'm, everything. I apologize. It's right here. That's it's not, okay. You should, we'll you're forgive right. you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is from the Board of Directors meeting. These were given out to the Board of Directors of the fair. You'll notice the fair colors, the iconic Unisphere, which was on everything, every souvenir hi, that you could think oh, of. Oh, Greg. Greg. Hi, hi. My name is Greg Kelly. Who is this? Robert Moses there? <laughs> Hi. Hello? Are you really talking I'm to not somebody? kidding. I'm not kidding. They hung up on no. you? Hello, are you there, sir? Hello? <laughs> hey, hey, he Hello. said, yeah, hi. What, what number did I just call? I may have dialed the wrong number. Hello? Yeah, hi. Can you hear us? Who do you, you, you want to speak? I, what, is this a business or a residence or what? It's a business. Oh, okay. Oh, we is were it looking... the, World, the World's Fair business? It's the, it's the Goldman Sachs. Goldman, Goldman Sachs. Buy me a hundred <laughs> shares of. Uh, <laughs> uh, get us up derivatives and leverage them to the hilt. Thank you. Never good mind. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, save the economy. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. So. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. So so. That's you know, a the, beautiful bag. It's a gorgeous bag. Wouldn't you want to take a flight with that? Okay. Yes, Pan Am. What? Don't so, don't touch those right. things. Can what I touch the they? dinosaurs? You can touch the Thank dinosaurs. Thank you. <laughs> what are these all about? So these were Here's from the, the <laughs> Sinclair Pavilion. They come from a Moldorama machine. You would go in as a you know a visitor. You put your coin in there, and this was a hot molded. Uh, plastic process precursor of 3D printing, of course, and you get this old school technology. You get your very own dinosaurs toy, to take home so with you. So they were like little toy, toy dinosaurs. They were souvenirs. Yeah. souvenirs. Okay, souvenirs. back then this must have been very interesting. It was uh, big. It was big. But there were also larger than life size replicas of the dinosaurs in front of the pavilion. We have wonderful images of that. In so our far, collection. Greg is like, okay, I didn't miss anything. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think the grounds of the World's Fair are awesome. Walking around there, I've done that many times. I've been to your museum, the panorama. It's, I, it's I highly beautiful. recommend it. But I see you have some books over here. Anything? Uh, uh, well, just a little we have something, a Greg. Okay. He's going back to the phone. <laughs> okay, we're going to Futurama. This was the GM Pavilion. <gasps> which was <gasps> oh. also represented in the 39 fair. Okay. Yeah. And what what they did in in the GM pavilion is you took a tour and they showed you what the world would be like in the future. And boy, did they get it wrong. <laughs> Let's well, face it. Well, they got it wrong in the 39 fair also. Yeah. I mean, it was, it's, it, We all thought fairs? we'd be in hovercraft of by course, now. Of course, of course. You'd have your own jet pack. And a house on the moon. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and here, here it is right here. There's oh. your house. Aww. All right, so folks, uh, tell us how long are the special World's Fair commemorative events taking place? Actually, they're taking place uh, all throughout the borough through yeah, and in the park for the entire year. That's beautiful. Oh. Louise, one other thing. Uh, if we can look at what it looks like today, the footage that we started with, have they ever thought about doing something with that big, those big towers and all that stuff? You know, I mean... Greg wants it like to be a ride or yeah, something. We're looking again at the old footage from the 50s. I want to see what it looks like today. The stuff that Kai took the other day from the sky, yeah, there's that big kind of amazing space uh, to the left of the Unisphere, and it just sits there, and it's rusty, and it looks like it might even be dangerous to walk around. It is, it is, but on... On uh, the 22nd of April, mm -hmm. we will have a press opening to talk about our, our Warhol show and our other World's Fair exhibits. And from 11 to 2 p.m., the New York State Theater will be open to the public. So they're going to provide hard hats, and anyone can come and visit and actually go inside that structure. Oh. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'd like to see it because under there, there's a map of New York, I understand. That people used yeah. to roller skate on. That would oh, be fun. Fun. Louise Weinberg, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I apologize if he touched, put his fingerprints That's all fine. over everything. I'm you and President Kennedy. It's fine. Yeah, we're linked now. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you Apologies. again. Apologies. By the way, uh, big at the World's Fair, Belgian waffles. No kidding. Yeah. I think we have a picture of some Belgian waffles. Um, yeah, that's a Belgian waffle truck right outside. Man, we can't miss with Belgian waffles, No, huh? no. So we're going to tie them in later, you yeah, think? Yeah, what the heck.